Why do so many people play Power right now and why is it so much fun? That's probably the question you have from an outside perspective if you have not played the game. Keep in mind, this is not a video about gameplay aspects. You find that video already down below in the video description if you want to know more about that. But what we want to talk about today is the fun aspect. And to understand what's going on here, you have to look at the bigger picture of where the gaming industry is at right now. We have too many developers, too many publishers in particular, which will do everything in their power to somehow screw with the gameplay elements to push you into the direction of the item shop so that you spend more money. And especially if you look at Power World, it's a survival game more than it is a Pokemon game. Yes, it has Pokemon-esque monsters in it, but the gameplay is very close to that of Ark. And there are a lot of gameplay elements they could have just asked money for. Fast traveling. They could have cut down half of the fast traveling points in the game. They could have put a timer on the fast traveling. And then they could have said, but you can buy an item which will make your pals fly faster around the world. So we haven't really offering you anything you can use the fast traveling, but we offer you something so that you are faster getting around the world. And so they would have kind of tried to hide the fact that they screwed with a gameplay element to sell you another in the item shop or the PAL spheres. Think about that. If this would have been a free to play game or well, a triple A game, which costs 70 bucks and has an item shop in it, they would have sold you the PAL spheres in the item shop with the notion of, well, but you can craft them in game. It just takes 10 hours to get five PAL spheres. But if that annoys you, you know where the item shop is, right? You just look at all those gameplay aspects and power and you realize how much they could have like just screwed with those gameplay elements and sell them through the item shop if there would have been an item shop, right? And you are just grateful there isn't. Like you look at power and you realize, no, this is... This is just a game where developers wanted to have you have fun right from the get-go. Too many games nowadays you would just work before you actually get to the fun part. And not only that, the game runs well, even though it's another real engine game. Yes, I know it isn't the most prettiest game. It's sometimes a bit empty, but it just runs well. I didn't have a single crash. I didn't have a single stutter. It just runs well and the developers are listening and they are acting fast like in starfield people were surprised to find out that you cannot eat stuff directly from tables but you have to put them into your inventory a feature which was in bethesda games for decades and bethesda took over four months to implement that in power world we had a problem with um that picking up pals and open up boxes was the same button, it was F, right? And people were like, man, I'm picking up more pals than I actually open up my, uh, my boxes. So can we do something about this, please? And then not even a week later, we got a patch where they have now moved the um, picking up pal world, uh, pal world, <laughs> picking up the pals from the ground to V and F is still opening up the boxes, problem solved. It took them a week, right? Like. You just look at Power World and you realize, okay, this developer wants us to have fun. They're working their asses off and they're not trying to trick us at every opportunity, which unfortunately is happening far too often in the gaming industry, right? And so people just enjoy this survival game. Another very important thing, right? It is a survival game and people sometimes underestimate how many people actually love survival games in their life. So it doesn't really surprise the power is just swooping in at a time where A, not a lot of games are coming out. The games we have are all life service games, which don't really feel that great sometimes because, well, in hindsight, they want you to buy more shit, even though you already spent a lot of money. It's never enough. And this game is just delivering on the fun potion. No hidden secrets of, oh, you just did that? Well, how about spending some money now, right? Like, it's just explore the world, find pals, 
fight, build, craft, and it all works in a neat package. And I'm really grateful for that, like so many other people are as well. And this is why I highly recommend PalWord if you are just remotely interested, because it's a fun game which just gets you without any tricks. With that said, we are at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. We have already more Power Word videos here on the channel. A pretty big one is coming up um, very soon, like in the next few days. And I hope you will check that out as well. With that said, stay safe. Bye-bye.